Hi there, and this is Hoo Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. We will look back at the weekend that was in the Premier League and some of the stories that followed the action on the pitch. But first up, a look at the table. Well, I did say on Friday that United will drop points and they almost didn't even get that one point at Anfield which sees the noisy neighbours lead the table after their 4-1 win over Aston Villa. Chelsea stay in third after their 3-1 win over Everton in which manager David Moyes said it was an uphill task to take on a side that's worth £400 million. But the general consensus is that Juan Mata gave an inspired performance. Newcastle and Spurs shared the spoils in one of the matches of the weekend. And if you disagree, these guys would beg to differ. Okay, back to the table. Stoke moved above Villa after a 2 0 win over Fulham. Norwich beat Swansea to keep them in ninth, while a certain part of North London breathed a little sigh of relief as the Gunners finally see themselves back in the top 10. And oh, yes, you can head over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash hoha.my to check out that fans' live episode. It was absolutely awesome. Even Tan, one of the guys that we were featured in the pre and post game interviews, commented about the game and the viewing party. And on the Toon Army Malaysia Facebook page, he wrote that even after 24 hours, the excitement of that match still lingered. And I agreed that a defeat for either side would have been a little cruel. But there are also other hot issues that the media and blog sites have picked up after the weekend action. In the mainstream news, it's the alleged racism abuse by Luis Suarez on Patrice Evra. Patrice has accused Luis, Luis has denied. Kinda like, it looked like me, sounds like me, but it wasn't me. Patrice is adamant of pursuing the matter and will meet the FA this week to give a full account of his claim. You can read more on this in The Telegraph. Spurs will be keeping an eye on Ledley King's injury setback. The Express reports that Ledley will see a specialist about his groin injury and is hoping for some good news. And with uh, chronic injury problems, Ledley himself has said that this is a very important season for him as his contract will expire at the end of the season. And if he doesn't obtain a fresh one from Spurs, he might just hang up his boots altogether. And finally, an absolutely bizarre one where the BBC and many other sides have picked this one up today. The foreign uh, Premier League club owners have mooted this absurd motion of scrapping relegation altogether. It's simple, they always want to be in the top flight. And who doesn't? But does that mean that if they do get relegated, they will flee with their millions? Well, any form or reform to the rules or regulations in the league must get 14 out of the 20 clubs to agree. And here's the catch. At the moment, half of the Premier League clubs are foreign owned. And if they are just another four more, the external forces could have a stranglehold on the decision making. Sir Alex Ferguson has described the move as suicide. In a nutshell, saying that championship sides, maybe like those of Southampton, Leeds, and even Peterborough, can never play in the top flight. I believe that it will be the death of the English game. Let us know what you think. We'll post this news item on our Facebook page and do share your thoughts with us. And that will be it for today. Until the next time, on behalf of the team, it's bye for now.